tibia external rotation pails and rails. Come down to a seat on the floor. You're gonna bend one knee and come up onto the heel. Take your hand and you're gonna wrap it around the inside of your foot and you're gonna allow that tibia to rotate out to the side. Um, so this is a nice setup because it helps to block some of this movement that could potentially come from the thigh. We just don't want the thigh to move back and forth. Let's go ahead and grab on the inside and then assist your tibia to move into external rotation. We're gonna go through some isometrics now. So our first part of the isometric, we're gonna to try to rotate back towards our midline. So towards your other leg and then rotate back out for the second part away from that midline. So we're gonna to try to give you a little bit more external tibial rotation, um, if not just a little bit stronger uh, range of motion there. So pull yourself into your end range. We're gonna take a breath in. We're gonna squeeze really tight. Everything doesn't move. Start to rotate towards your midline with 10% increase to 20%. And you're gonna ramp up that effort until you reach a seven out of 10. If this is your first time doing it, I suggest going a little bit less intense until you know how you're going to react to it. We're gonna hold this isometric for five, four, three, two, one. Now try to rotate away from your midline. Should feel the outer hamstring start to fire a little bit more now as we try to squeeze more rotation uh, into external rotation. For five, four, three, two, and slowly relax. We'll do one more round. Nice big breath. Brace everything tight. Don't let your arm move. Rotate into your hand. Should feel inner hamstring fire as we rotate internally. Ramp up to your safest, greatest max effort for three, two, one, and reverse. Rotate externally. Five, four, three, two, and slowly relax. 